Monique is joyful, Monique is joyful, welcome to Monique is joyful. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Hi guys, welcome back joyful family. This is Monique, my name is Monique and I am back. Happy New Year and happy belated Merry Christmas. <laughs> I hope that you saw my last two videos, and if you haven't ever been on this page before, welcome, 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 joyful family, and if you like the content that you see today, please hit that like, share, and subscribe, and I'm just happy to be back. I was planning to uh, record more in December, and today is January 1st. It is now the evening time. I hope that your first day of 2023 is going fast, fabulous, and I'm just happy to be back, guys. I'm like, I'm sorry, my eye itched, or it was itching, and um, first thing, I'm going to scoot in my tree, because I didn't get a chance to get, have a tree up, I mean, for it, or be online the way I wanted to originally for December but guess what it's a new year and I'm trying to have more consistency so I will be, I'm planning to upload weekly on my channel Monique is Joyful and um first thing is how are you how has your day been I hope you've had a wonderful day I hope that you have a positive new year let me tell you what I've been up to I've been just readapting and getting used to like life after uh having had breast cancer for everybody who already subscribes and that follows my channel uh i've already shared a lot of that online on my youtube channel and by the grace of god i am in remission i am a breast cancer warrior by the grace of god amen and um, I hope that I can help to encourage whoever sees this um, video that I'm uploading today. It's going to get uploaded today. And right now I am talking off the top of my head. I never write down anything. So everything that I say is just natural. You know what I mean? It, it, unless I ever have somebody on this channel with me. Like my son when he comes on with me and hopefully he'll be back one day sooner than later this year but hopefully we'll be talking about a lot of exciting topics and we'll be doing some vlogging i hope that you got the chance to see my first breast cancer walk well at least see what it was like i you didn't see me actually walking in the with the crowd but you can see what it's like for anyone who's ever been to any type of a walk that support any type of illness or anything or cause um yes and what else i would like to say is um well um <laughs> look i feel like i'm a fish out of water right now because it's been a minute it's, it's like i got so comfortable recording recording and recording then I took a long pause because I had other things to do. And I used to wonder, like, dang, I, I follow. I watch YouTube so much. I watch YouTube probably every day. And it's so many people that I really like that I subscribe to and other content creators that I subscribe to and watch. And I'm like, wow, I love their consistency. But, like, some people, this is their full-time job. So, I mean, like, it's not my full-time job yet. But, you know, until it becomes that, I'm still trying to be consistent, become more consistent. Because if I could be kind of consistent on chemo, then I could definitely be consistent without it. So, and in better health, thank God. And um, I'm hoping that I have my phone sitting on a stand and I'm hoping that what I see is not with my with my camera is recording so hold on one moment okay i'm back <laughs> well let's get to it okay the first thing one of the things i wanted to show you is i know i'm not doing like along what i got for christmas 
a video like I did last year. I'm just going to show you as a part of uh, today, January 1st, 2023. Yay! What I did, one of the things I did get for Christmas, and also this is going to be a review on some boots because I got a pair of boots. And one of the things I got was a pair of boots, and I love these boots. Look, they are Harley Davidson. Uh, well, I've been wearing them. Sorry, a little dirty. Okay, but look, <laughs> they're Harley Davidson boots, and they are so cute and so comfortable. Yes, and I love a boot because I cannot walk in heels. So they come up. They work well with whatever you want to wear. Leggings. They a boot like this will work well with leggings. They will work well with um, a dress, a skirt, jeans, whatever you like. Honestly, that's why I like them. And I can't walk in heels, to be honest. So, and I have had some knee injuries. So, I'm like, hmm, I don't worry about it. But I love a good boot. And that was a pair of Harley Davidson boots. I think they're called Edna is the, the type of style of the boots. And I highly recommend them. They are super comfortable and they go up to size 11. And I think the width is a medium. And I have a size 11 boot. A regular, my regular shoe size for women is a size 10. But for those boots, because I wasn't sure how they fit, I wanted to get an 11. I asked for an 11 size boot, whatever type of boot I ended up getting. I mean, I knew I wanted Harley Davidson because that's my... Those are my second pair of Harley Davidsons that I have had since I've started wearing some Harley Davidson boots like some years ago now. But the boots, my original boots, they are so good. I still have them, you know, so those are my second pair. And I highly recommend them if you're looking for a pair of go to boots. They're heavy, but if you don't mind having heavy boots on they're made to last because like I said, the ones that I have that I had originally that I still have, I had those boots for like I've had the boots for I would say at least four years and I'm still wearing them, you know, and I'm still gonna go back and forth between my other shoes and those boots. But I just wanted to uh one day if Harley Davidson ever want to give me a sponsorship for their boots or anything one day I'm gonna speak it into existence because I mean you know you never know what God will do you know so I'm not no limits you know what I mean I'm telling you no limits on is no limit and no nothing no type of limit on what God can do so whatever it is that you want no matter how big just keep working for it work towards it pray Pray, keep the faith, keep your faith, and you can do it. Even though it can be very hard sometimes, just stay positive. Keep positive people in your circle if you must have a circle. And if you don't have anybody in your circle, know you always have God if you trust in him. That's one thing I want to say because that is the truth for me. And I know it's the truth for billions and millions of other people in the world like myself. And, I, and, and just keep pushing even though. Even though sometimes it could be very, uh, sometimes it seems like in life you can make big strides and moving in the right direction that you're trying to get to. And then hurdles come along and roadblocks come along, but don't let it stop you. Don't let it, it might, you might, you might pause for a minute, but don't stop. That's what I want to tell you too. Well, that's on my mind. And you know what? I record with my old phone. With my old phone, I'm recording right now. And I wish I had my other phone with me so that I, I was thinking about trying to see if I could call my son to see what he was up to, to see um, if he had any topics that he wanted to discuss on YouTube today. But um, I just wanted to say hi, guys, and have a wonderful first day of January. And I will be back for weekly uploads. That's what it's going to be. As long as I am able, if I miss a week, it's because something had must have happened if I'm missing a week because that's my personal goal. Oh, and another thing is I want to tell you, if you're trying to lose weight, don't let if you eat something that, you know, you know is not the best food for you to eat, stop you from carrying on because like in losing weight, I, I personally, I have weight to lose for sure because I lost weight. Then I gained weight after because like when I was on chemo, 
I, I really pretty much lost my taste buds a lot of the time. And then the strength of that medicine caused a lot of other side effects that were that would make me not even have an appetite to eat besides not being able to taste. Like if when you can't taste your food, it really, if you like to eat, like I like to eat, right? Obviously I like to eat, but when you can't taste your food, it is really hard to have an appetite to eat. So for my, for my um, fellow uh, cancer warriors and anyone that's going through any type of health problems that are that is like making making it hard for them to eat like the days where you feel like you want to eat and you can't eat or when you have your taste buds back or whatever dietary restrictions that your doctor has for you if you have any then listen to what they say for your own health benefit but when you if you don't have any dietary restrictions and you going through something where it's some days you don't even feel like eating or you lost your taste buds most of the time and when you get those taste buds back or when you can kind of taste your food please eat but as i was saying see that's this is the thing about when you don't have everything written like bam 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 you kind of like what i'm doing right now go from one thing to the next but what I'm trying to basically say, I was thinking about uh, the one topic of weight loss, and then it made me think about, you know, my what happened to me. And I know that I'm not the only one that went through that and that is still going through that. And if you're going through it right now, just know that all of y'all, all of you all are in my prayers, no matter healthy, going through health situ uh, concerns, and, or illnesses right now you are all in my prayers because i pray for the whole world because i feel like we all need it we all need the lord you know and just just eat when you can that's the bottom line of what i'm trying to say eat what you want when you can especially when you have days where you don't have appetite or can't taste your food or have serious constipation or uh, or nausea or whatever going on that's messing up your appetite um but okay let me go back to what i was saying as far as weight loss now what i was gonna say is when it comes to um trying to um lose weight i joined weight watchers and all i'm doing is using the app and I only joined it about two weeks ago. And for the first four days, I logged everything. And I thought it was, and I think it's still simple. Like the app process, I feel like it's simple. Like I'm not one of those people that like they offer the meetings and stuff, but I'm not doing the meetings because I, I am motivated enough to stay on track for myself. But I haven't logged anything for the last, probably since a little before Christmas or yeah, I believe it was a little before Christmas and I only had joined it maybe five to seven days before Christmas. So make a long story short, I recommend from my experience so far with using Weight Watchers that if you just want a way to track your food or and you want to do the meetings and you want to do the virtual meetings too, which I'm not doing that part right now um, because I think all I need help with is tracking my food and i like the point system because it's pretty easy like um most of the foods that you probably eat you can look it up in there and they'll tell you like if it's a lot of foods that are zero points and you know i'm not getting paid to tell anybody this because you know i only have so many subscribers right now but i just want to tell you because i feel like it's useful and i know at the beginning of the year a lot of people have uh resolutions to lose weight and see, this is not really a resolution for me. It's something I know I got to do. And I worked on, on and off, on and off throughout the year. And I don't call it a diet for me because I feel like if I thought of me losing weight as a diet, then I wouldn't stick to it. You know what I mean? So I just think of it as um, I'm trying to track what I'm eating. I'm still eating foods that I want to eat, but I'm just eating less of the foods because once you... For me, once I start working out, then I want my time that I spend working out to eventually show. And then I know it'll show if I'm watching what I eat as far as in. I can have some ice cream. I'm not going to have a big bowl of ice cream. I could have like a small mug of ice cream or 
a little cup of ice cream versus a bowl, you know, just portion control. I think that's the best way to lose weight It's just portion control. And then I think that the point system, which if I had my phone in my hand, which is in another room, if I had my phone in my hand, I could probably show you. And maybe next time when I get on, I'll show you, you know what I mean? Like what I'm talking about with the points or, or at least let you see what it looks like to open up the app. I'm going to do it like this and just bring, put my phone into the camera because <laughs> look, this, that's just how I'm going to do it. But so I recommend if you're looking for something to try, try Weight Watchers. I think it's good um, as far as if you're looking for food tracking and the fact that like you can look up something at McDonald's, say you're going through a drive through say a lot of restaurants. Even if it's not the restaurant that you particularly ate at, they might have something similar on the menu. Like if you say, I want, I'm eating a, a chicken salad, a grilled chicken Caesar salad, put that in and you're sure to find somebody's restaurant that has a salad that's similar to whatever you eating that you can start counting your points. And then you put in your goal as far as, and you put in your weight that you are, the goal that you would like to get to if it's a goal weight that you want to get to and 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 then they give you the amount of points that you can eat per day and then there's so many foods that are zero point foods like eggs for example most of the fish most any fish it seems like any fruit or vegetables so and when you think of all that that covers a lot of food it's just really like red meats it seems like and fried foods are the things that you have to limit, which you should do anyway. But if you didn't know that, you know what I mean? Like you don't have to feel limited and restricted. And then Weight Watchers has so many different cookbooks. And I have a cookbook that I bought. Like, I think I got it on, I did buy it from Amazon. You know, you can buy used books on Amazon. So I bought a used book and the recipe is a recipe, you know, and I haven't even used it yet. But that's a good idea. Like if you follow recipes and stuff like that, or if you want to get some examples, and I'm sure you can Google recipes for sure. Pinterest, plenty of recipes. I probably could have looked up Weight Watchers recipes on Pinterest because I like Pinterest too. So anyway, I hope that that was useful to all my fellows, all my ladies that are interested in getting in better shape, whether it's toning up or losing pounds and toning up or whatever, or just weight maintenance, you know, because, you know, as you get older, it, get, it gets harder, as they say. And then sometimes people are just born with slower metabolisms. I think I'm one of those people that just have a slower metabolism, especially when you get older, it gets even slower. Like, you know, when, so especially if you're not active, like super active. And even if you are active, you can have hormonal changes affecting the way that you gain weight and lose weight. Like, you know, because there's people that eat more than me, I feel like that are smaller than me without the actual exercise that I've done. But then like, you got to look at how, if you have hormonal issues, that affects how your weight works. You know what I mean? Like how fast you lose weight if your body just seems to hold on to the fat, you know? So it's a whole lot that goes into that. But guess what? I did not realize I was going to spend that much time talking about uh, weight. But I guess that's a good topic because, you know, a lot of us are like, oh, today is the first day of my diet. I'm about to lose all this weight and I wish you much success. I'm trying to tell you something that will be helpful to you if you need some extra help that where you won't feel like, oh, I can only eat bread and water or no bread and just vegetables. And you know what I mean? Like you don't have to go to extremes because the one thing that I've learned and that I see about doing extreme stuff, unless you're going to do that extreme stuff for the rest of your life and that's and you comfortable with eating that way, once you stop, that's when all the weight will come back and then more. So I feel like it's easier to lose weight with something that you really going to continue to do long term like your weight loss might be slower but when it do when it does come off it will be done like you'll be you you'll have taught yourself or learned how to eat better and how to add some type of regular activity to your day you know okay so i i don't 
I think I've, I think I've taken up at least 20 something minutes of your day. So I'm going to let you go and get back to your real life or to the other content creators on YouTube. And also, I would like to um, give a shout out to, and I don't know if he'll ever see this, to some of my most watched and favorite content creators that I watch. And it's so many that I subscribe to, but it's some people that I watch like consist consistently since I've been on like YouTube, which it seems like I think I've, my sister told me about YouTube about probably, I say four, five years ago, because she knows like I like to be creative and make stuff and like, like my jewelry, for example, like most of it I made outside of the silver part. Like I'm a creator. I'm very creative. And um, so she was like, oh, you will like this because you can learn so many things. And I really do enjoy YouTube, guys. Like I think that's why I'm going to keep coming back and I'm going to keep recording. And please, if you did like my content, Please share it. Please hit that like. Please hit the subscribe. And if you leave any comments about whatever we was talking about, like, let me know how is your first day of 2023 going? And also, are you trying to lose weight? And if so, what are you doing, like, to start your process? Are you doing anything like Weight Watchers or are you cutting out certain foods? Are you um, just eating lean meats, you know what I mean, and vegetables and fruit? Or are you doing some type of cleanse let me know in the comments below please hit that like share and subscribe and i'm so happy to be back on youtube it's like riding a bike like when i first press um record on my phone it's like i was a little wobbly you probably can see that from the front i mean from the beginning of the video but now it's like i've been talking for a few minutes and i feel like i'm like warming up like the oven warming up and I'm just happy to be back. Like, and hopefully, I, it'll be a different back behind a back, a different backdrop or something different behind me sooner than later. We will see. Okay. Well, love you guys. Stay joyful, and I will talk to you later. So, look, let me give you. <clears throat> Monique is joyful. Monique is joyful. Welcome to Monique is joyful. Well, we're going to say. Goodbye from Monique is Joyful channel. Oh, and look, you know what? I just remembered. <laughs> Man, I got to write this stuff down. Look, I just remembered that I would like to send a shout out to the creators that I was talking about, which would be goddamn Zoe. I want to send a special shout out to Zoe because, like, he kept me laughing. Like, he is so funny. And he is probably not everybody's cup of tea. So just he just is who he is. And I love that about him. And he is not for the, I would say his comedy is not, or I would say his personality is not for everybody. Like he curses and he is not PG-13 on his channel at all. I'm just telling you. But I know when I was going through chemo, for example, and I was watching a well before that, before I ever knew about any of that about me. But one of the days where I was like, man, I'm so over all of that type of stuff that I was doing, had to go through though. I would watch him and he would just make me laugh. And like, I still watch him. I look for his stuff every day on YouTube. Like I try to see when is messy Monday's coming out and it'd be, me it's messy. And half of the people that he's talking about, I don't even know who they are besides the fact that I heard him talk about them, you know what I mean, on his show. But he's so funny. But and then I know that he has a good heart, you know what I mean? Like just I just like his realness. Like I rather a person be themselves to the best of their ability. Like I know it's only so much you're gonna give to the internet. I understand that because I'm the same, but um I just I just appreciate that and I am definitely hoping that he gets a chance to see this and um yes bye bye guys oh let me see who else okay it's a, it's a few people but I had to that was like my biggest person that I watched the most 
my number one content creator that I watched the most that kept me laughing even during my most difficult times. And then, yeah. And, and you just don't realize how until like when you need something to laugh about, how just being yourself and, and being able to shine a light, even though sometimes, you know, like I said, he's not like, he, he does say some real stuff. He says positive things and everything like that for sure. Else I wouldn't watch him if he was just negative, negative. But he get at people too because it is a lot of like rude people that say mean things. As everybody know that looks at social media that say that says mean things behind the comfort of a, a keyboard. You know what I mean? But, you know, I just like he reads He'll read you. That's what I would say. He will read you. But I like him. And I recommend him. And let me see who else. That's the content creator. I, I like Tasha K. I mean, like, I think that she is awesome. Also, like, she is she is who she is, you know. And, <laughs> and she's entertaining. And she does give good advice. If you ever watch her, uh, what is that? Um, what's her name? What when she does unwind? No, that's the name of the dang on channel. Well, her channel was unwind with Tasha K. Like, like I said before, it is narrated R. Really, I mean, if I could rate what they say, sometimes I would definitely say it's rated R. So please don't click on it if you don't want to hear somebody say. If you're gonna be offended with things that are not PG thirteen, don't watch them too. But if you don't mind watching, you know, whatever you feel like watching, if you watch that type of stuff, if you don't want to hear curse words sometimes or at all, if you don't curse, don't listen to it. But I'm just saying for all my joyful ones that watch that type of stuff, click on them. You probably already know who I'm talking about. And um, I'm trying to see who else. I mean, it's a lot of people I subscribe to, but not everybody I watch all the time. I like Daquana White. I think she's awesome, too. I love her fashion, and she does plus-size fashion. I like a lot of women who do fashion, and that's one thing also that I am planning to show more of because I did that once, but, like, this year, every week, I'm trying to bring something. So, like, um, it will be days where I'm doing my little fashion hauls, you know, <laughs> and well okay i've had my time and i'm about to get ready to upload this okay and i'll probably upload it to come out tomorrow because it's already tonight i mean it's already nighttime so have a beautiful january 2nd today is the first january 1st uh 2023 yay and um have a beautiful evening, guys. Okay, this is my last time. Look, all of this is getting posted. It's not like when I get back into the swing of things, then I will cut stuff short. But look, if you got time and you watched me this long, thank you. <laughs> Hit that like and subscribe. Share it, okay? Because we're going to have fun this year, okay? We're going to look at some fashions. We're going to look at inexpensive fashions because I do not believe that you have to um spend a bunch of money at all to be fashionable we're gonna look at some thrifting hauls i'm sure some thrifted hauls it's just gonna be a good time and once i practice doing makeup where i feel like you know i'm good enough to show somebody else how to do it then i may do that I, that's still up in the air but i see that my camera is looking a little unfocused this is still getting posted i'm sorry guys okay it is what it is look i am a I'm, I've been doing this since when I started the year before last, and I'm on my same. Well, at the time when I started this, I was using the phone that I'm recording on was my main phone that I was talking on, too. This phone has more memory than my phone that I use right now, so this is why this is my camera. But when y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe, and I gain more followers and more followers and more family to my YouTube then guess what? I'm going to get a camera one day. That's the goal. And I have like, when I get to my first 100 subscribers, then I'm going to do a giveaway. So 
if y'all could help me to get to my first 100, 200, 300, 400, 1,000, on and on and on. I'm going to just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Like I suggest you do at whatever it is that you love or whatever you have passion for, push on it. And don't let anything stop you from whatever it is that you are determined. Because if you're determined to do something and you put God first, and you know that he will pull you through whatever you're going through that is hard and at tough times. He will most definitely always carry you, even when, we, even when we don't deserve it, which is most of the time. God is so good. I'm sorry, I'm going to say that, and I'm going to say that, I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it forever. Because it's the truth, you know what I mean? And, okay, I'm going off now this time. I'm not, you're going to get all of this. I'm putting the, the whole unedited version of me talking about everything because I just talked about everything and I'm gonna show y'all my tree let me show you my little tree matter of fact I'm gonna light it up for you because I <laughs> like my tree guys okay let me show you hold on I'm gonna light it up oh, oh look at her look at her well next Christmas hopefully I'll figure out how to put her in the screen with me because <laughs> today look I'm just doing this look my real tree is still up too I'm gonna put Put her, take that one down and keep this one put to the side for next time around. Okay, I just had to show it because I spent the time trying to put the little decorations on this little tree. Yes. Now, okay, bye-bye. Hey, look, I mean, I'm getting off now. Bye-bye, joyful family. Don't forget, hit the like, share, and subscribe to Monique is Joyful. Monique is Joyful. Bye-bye from Monique. And that's me. <laughs> Monique is joyful. Monique is joyful. Welcome to Monique is joyful. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe.